not in frame. Hi. Oh my gosh. Today we're gonna make food. Cause you know food's food's really good, and we're gonna make this this stuff. You know I, what? It, salted caramel brownies. I don't like chocolate. I don't like brownies, and I I'm okay with caramel, I guess. But you know content. So I already got the stuff here that you need. Um, you need one egg, I have eight, and then you need vegetable oil, got that too. First step, heat oven to 350 degrees, got that. 300, wait, what? Bam, first step completed. I'm such an OG. I said that's all I need, but I need a bowl and probably a spoon to mix stuff, so it already lied to me. I don't know how I'm supposed to succeed in cooking this if it's gonna lie to me every two seconds. So I got this really big bowl. It's got water, you know what? I got this big bowl. It's clean. So we're gonna take this, you know, we're gonna take a spoon. Very nice. So next step is to squeeze caram caramel pouch 10 seconds until, what? You gotta squeeze the pouch, this thing? Okay, ready? One, two, Three. Okay, that should be fine. You know, I didn't really count. So now I gotta stir in the brownie mix, which is right here. So it said mix it in a medium bowl, but you know, this is kind of the biggest bowl that I got, and it's full from just the brownie mix, so that's a problem. Okay, I'm back, and I probably just wasted about half of my SD card storage. I'm actually gonna take this, this tiny little bowl, and I'm gonna pour, yeah, just like that, you know. Now we have more room for improvement. We're gonna take this, this one egg right here. Ah! Okay, apparently I can't crack an egg. Got another egg, and we're gonna, Okay, maybe I shouldn't do this right over my, the wiring. I got, uh, ugh. I'm usually so good at cracking eggs. Now I gotta dig in there and get the shells out, you know, and I miss the garbage again. So we got the egg in there, you know, you can't really see it, but, oh, there it is. It's right there. And then you see uh, one third cup vegetable oil. You got that right here, you know, just. You know, that's good enough. I'll probably add a little bit more. A little bit more. This place is already a mess, and we just started. But you, did we? Shh, shh. And then you need a little bit of water. So we're gonna take the wrong size for a cup. This is a half a cup, and you need one fourth. Great. And you're just gonna mix it. I think I did something wrong. Why is it so fluffy? Okay. You know, I definitely did something wrong. I'm gonna add some more water. Okay, back to stirring. So the oven's already preheated and I'm not ready for it to be preheated. So I gotta work faster, faster. Master! This is a lot of work. This is a workout, I'm sweating. If you guys haven't, if you guys are looking for a great workout, just make something. It's really tiring, you know, you really get, you'll get abs, okay? I promise, you'll get abs by the end of the, making something. Okay, look at how chocolatey that is. I'm probably not even gonna eat any of this because, well, I'm gonna try one at the end of the video just for your sake, because I don't like chocolate, but you know. Next step is to spread and pan, and we have this rusty, old, nasty looking pan, but, so now we have it all spread out in the pan, and we're just gonna, you know, maneuver it all over. Can you even see that? You know, just maneuver it, let it slide around. I don't think I mix this good enough. There's bubbles everywhere, but we're not gonna talk about it, because if we talk about it, then, then it's not gonna work, so we're just not gonna talk about it, so then it'll work better, you know? Should I thumbnail this? Okay, maybe, wait. Guys, I missed a step. I didn't even read the instructions. The step I forgot was the most important step, the caramel step. I forgot to drizzle the caramel all over it. And that was the point of the whole thing is caramel brownie things, you know? 
Okay, so I got the four lines in there. You know, it doesn't look like four lines, but I promise it is, you know. It's good enough. Now I gotta put it back in the oven for the second time. So I got them in the oven, and I gotta wait a half hour. So I'll see you guys in 30 minutes or more. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's done. It's done. I pulled it out two minutes early, so my, my timer is probably gonna go off any second. Let me see. It's gonna go off in 50 seconds. I wanted to pull it out two minutes early because I am tired and I want to go to bed, but you know, I had to finish this video. So we got it here, you know, and then I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut it up real nice. <laughs> so I'm gonna take this very dangerous knife and I'm gonna do something. Don't mind the horrible cutting job. I, I don't care that it looks bad because I didn't want it in the first place, but you know content and I'm gonna eat it with a spoon because forks are all the way on the other side of the kitchen which is two feet away but I'm too lazy to get a fork so we're gonna do a spoon and now this is really hot just came out of the oven but you know taste test it's not that bad and I don't like chocolate and it's not that bad I think that's what brings it all together is the caramel Okay, that was great. Now I'm gonna leave it on the on the on the stove all night because I'm can't do anything else with it because I wanna go to bed. Because it is now eleven seventeen at night and uh, I still have school tomorrow and I'm exhausted. I hope you enjoyed that, you know. If you didn't, that's okay. Just let, leave me a comment if you want more videos of me cooking. I may or may not do them, you know. Bye.